In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the volume of a triangular prism. So let's start with an example problem. So let's say that this triangular prism has a height of 20 centimeters. And let's say this part is 12 centimeters, and here this is 10. How can we calculate the volume of this triangular prism, given the following information? The volume of a triangular prism is the volume is the area of the base multiplied by the height. And that is, let me use capital H instead of lowercase h. So 20 centimeters is the height of the prism. 12 is the base of the triangle. And 10 centimeters is the height of the triangle. So capital B represents the area of the base, or basically the area of this triangle. To calculate the area of the triangle, it's 1 half base times height. So in this case, it's going to be 1 half. The base is 12, and the height is 10. Half of 12 is 6, and 6 times 10 is 60. So the area is 60 square centimeters. So that's the area of the base. So the volume of the prism is going to be the area of the base, which is 60 square centimeters, times the height of the prism, which is 20 centimeters. So 60 times 20. 6 times 2 is 12. And then we need to add the two zeros. So the volume is going to be 1,200 cubic centimeters. And so that's a simple way in which you can calculate the volume of a triangular prism. Now let's work on another example. So let's say the height of the prism in this example is 10 inches. And let's say the base of the triangle is 4 inches. And the hypotenuse is 5 inches. Go ahead and calculate the volume of the triangular prism. So once again, we need to calculate the area of the base first. So we've got to calculate the area of the right triangle. So we have the base of the right triangle. What we're missing is the height. And so we need to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the height first. So we know that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. c is the hypotenuse, which is 5. We could say that a represents h in this example, and b is 4. So 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16. And 25 minus 16 is 9. Now we need to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 9 is 3. So the height of the triangle is 3. So now we can calculate the area of the base, which is the area of the right triangle. So that's 1 half base times height. So half of 4 times 3. Half of 4 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. So the area of the base is 6 square inches. So now we can calculate the volume. And it's supposed to be capital B instead of lowercase b. So the area of the base is 6, and the height of the prism is 10. So 6 times 10 is 60. So the volume of this triangular prism is 60 cubic inches. And so that's the answer. Now let's try a different example. So let's say we have a prism that looks like this. And let's say the height of the prism is 12 inches, and the side of the triangle is 8 inches. And you're told that it's an equilateral triangle. So with that information, what is the area of the prism? I mean, not the area, but what is the volume of the prism, rather? So if we have an equilateral triangle, that means that all three sides have the same 
left. So each side is 8 inches. And we know the volume of the prism is base times height. So how can we calculate the area of the base? What is the area of an equilateral triangle? The area of an equilateral triangle is the square root of 3 divided by 4 times s squared, where s is the side length. In this case, s is 8. So 8 squared is 64. And if we take 64 and divide it by 4, that's 16. So the area of the base is 16 square root 3 square inches. So now we can calculate the volume of the prism. So capital B, that's the area of the base, that's 16 square root 3, and then the height of the prism is 12 inches. So 16 times 12, that's 192. So the volume is going to be 192 times the square root of 3, and it's going to be cubic inches. So this is the final answer. It's actually the exact answer. And if you want the decimal equivalent of that answer, it's about 332.55 cubic inches. Let's look at another example. So let's say this time we're given the values of all three sides of the triangle. Now let's say the height of the triangle is 18 centimeters. So everything is in centimeters. Calculate the volume of the prism. So we know first we need to calculate the area of the base. So how can we calculate the area of a triangle if we're only given all three sides and it's not a right triangle? We need to use Heron's formula. So first you need to calculate S, which is basically half of the perimeter of the triangle. It's A plus B plus C divided by 2. We can call this A b and c. So it's going to be 9 plus 10 plus 11 divided by 2. 9 plus 10 is 19 and 19 plus 11 that's 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now once you have s you can calculate the area using this formula. So it's s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c all inside of a square root symbol. So keep in mind that S is 15. So the area is going to be 15 times 15 minus A, so that's 15 minus 9, times 15 minus B, and B is 10, and then 15 minus 11. So 15 minus 9, that's 6. 15 minus 10 is 5. 15 minus 11 is 4. So now how can we simplify what we now have? Well, we can take the square root of 4, so that's 2. 15, I'm going to write that as 5 times 3, and 6 is 3 times 2. Now we can take out 25. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of 9 is 3. So we're left with 2 times 5 times 3 times the square root of 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. So the area is 30 square root 2. And I'm just going to check that with my calculator. Make sure I didn't miss anything. And I got the same answer. So now we can calculate the volume of the prism. So it's base times height. The area of the base is 30 square root 2, and the height of the prism is 18. So 30 times 18, that's 540. So the answer is 540 square root 2 cubic centimeters. Or 
we could say that's approximately 763.7 cubic centimeters.